I would say death row inmates and prisoners in general. And I call it, we turn a switch like this. We disconnect, we say they're not human the way we are. This is another kind of being. And they're dangerous, we're made to be afraid of them. And the fear is so great that what we actually say about people on death row is they are so beyond the pale of humanness that as a society we have to kill them in order for us to be safe. It was the biggest shock to me the first time I went on to death row, met the first man, Patrick Sonia, looked at his face behind that heavy mesh metal screen and looked into the eyes of a human being. I simply couldn't believe that you could be like a human being having done such an act. We tend to identify people with their actions, but even in a courtroom, the prosecuting attorney is never allowed to point to a defendant and say, that's an evil man. You can say this unspeakable crime is evil, the action's evil, but never the person. And that's our big disconnect from people on death row. And in general, people who are in prison. We picture them as these people who murder, love to murder, will murder again. And the warden at Louisiana State Penitentiary told me one time, you know who the best trustees are? Which crime they come in here for? It's for murder. When they got up in the morning, they didn't know they were going to murder somebody. Then they get in the discipline of the prison. They become trustees. They have a job. They're, they're not a acting out violently. People can change. We can never freeze frame people in the worst action of their life and say that's who they are. Well, I present this humbly. But Dead Man Walking, I had an eighth grade student come to me and say, I read this book three times. I wrote the book in an accessible way for readers that everybody can follow the story, and so especially for young people, uh, I recommend it. Also for them to, like, there's a great um, site you can go to. It's deathpenaltyinfo.org because it keeps you up currently with what's going on, all the issues, like the issues on the top uh, right now are what's happening with lethal injection, the latest state to have done away with the death penalty, and gets into all the issues like innocence, how many people have been found innocent who are on death row, uh, what's the socioeconomic breakdown, only poor people go to death row, overwhelming, how does race play a part, all those things. you get. You get inf information about the death penalty and also stories, victims, families that have decided that the death penalty could never be the thing that helps heal them. So you have witnessing, you have people telling stories, and you have wonderful information that you can get. Uh, how many innocent people have been freed off a death row, what some of their stories are, where the innocence projects are, where young people could join. So. There's plenty to read, especially now with the internet that can make things so available to us. But I always uphold that a book is a good thing to read because a book, when you're reading it, you're quiet, you're not debating, and in your imagination, you go to all those places where the story takes you. And it, it can effect tremendous change in us.